For 20 years, SpaceX has ruled the space industry like an unshakable giant. From revolutionary rockets to groundbreaking missions, Elon Musk's company has left competitors scrambling to catch up. But in the foothills of Colorado, a bold challenger is rising, one that might just change the game entirely. Meet Sierra Space and their revolutionary dream chaser, a sleek space plane that's about to take flight. While SpaceX's rockets thunder back to Earth in dramatic vertical landings, the Dream Chaser does something entirely different. It glides onto ordinary runways like a regular aircraft. This isn't just another spacecraft. It's a glimpse into a future where space travel could be as routine as catching a flight. The timing couldn't be more critical. As SpaceX pushes forward with its massive Starship program, Sierra Space is preparing for its first Dream Chaser launch in 2025. With NASA contracts already secured and the capability to carry both cargo and crew, this newcomer isn't just dreaming. They're building a serious challenge to SpaceX's dominance. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The story of space innovation isn't just about rockets and technology. It's about dreams, determination, and daring to challenge giants. In the quiet foothills of Colorado, Sierra Space's engineers have spent countless sleepless nights perfecting what could be the most elegant spacecraft ever built. The Dream Chaser isn't merely a space plane. It's the culmination of decades of aerospace innovation refined into something truly revolutionary. Picture this. While other spacecraft slam into the ocean or depend on massive rocket engines to land, Dream Chaser soars through the atmosphere with the grace of an eagle its sleek aerodynamic design, inspired by NASA's space shuttle but refined through years of wind tunnel testing and computational analysis, allows it to glide effortlessly onto any commercial runway in the world. The engineering team faced countless setbacks during development. Early prototypes struggled with stability issues, and critics claimed the design was too complex to succeed. But persistence paid off. The breakthrough came with the thermal protection system. Traditional spacecraft, including the Space Shuttle, required tens of thousands of individual tiles to survive the inferno of atmospheric re-entry. Each tile had to be inspected and maintained individually, a nightmare for ground crews and a major factor in launch delays. Sierra Space's engineers took a radical approach. Instead of following the old playbook, they developed an entirely new type of thermal protection system using just 2,000 tiles. This wasn't just an incremental improvement. It was a complete paradigm shift in spacecraft design. But the real magic of Dream Chaser lies in its versatility. The cargo version, set for its first flight in 2025, can carry up to 12,000 pounds of supplies to the International Space Station. That's enough to support multiple scientific experiments, deliver crucial supplies, and transport essential equipment. The innovative Shooting Star module adds another 10,000 pounds of cargo capacity. And here's where things get interesting. Unlike traditional cargo modules that burn up on re-entry, Shooting Star can be modified for extended operations in space. Sierra Space engineers are already working on variants that could serve as mini space stations or fuel depots. The crew version of Dream Chaser represents an even more ambitious leap forward designed to carry seven astronauts in spacecraft that feels more like a private jet than a cramped capsule. It features large windows offering panoramic views of Earth and space. The interior layout prioritizes both comfort and functionality, a stark contrast to the utilitarian designs of traditional spacecraft. Every detail, from the placement of control panels to the design of the seats, has been optimized through countless hours of astronaut feedback and simulation testing. This attention to detail extends to emergency scenarios. While other spacecraft depend on complex launch abort systems with multiple stages and separation events, Dream Chaser's lifting body design allows it to safely glide away from a failing rocket at virtually any point during launch. The spacecraft can then navigate to the nearest suitable runway, potentially saving both crew and valuable cargo. This capability was demonstrated in a series of dramatic drop tests that left even skeptical observers impressed. The competition between Sierra Space and SpaceX isn't just about technology. It's about two radically different visions of humanity's future in space. SpaceX, under Elon Musk's leadership, has pursued a path of brute force and raw power. Their launch cadence tells an incredible story. 
from 31 launches in 2021 to a staggering 128 launches in 2024. Each launch of their workhorse Falcon 9 rocket represents another step toward their ultimate goal, making humanity a multiplanetary species. SpaceX's Starship program embodies this ambitious vision. The massive rocket, standing taller than any other vehicle ever built, is designed to carry over 200 tons to orbit, more than three times the capacity of their already impressive Falcon Heavy. SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell's recent announcement that Starship will eventually replace both Falcon 9 and Dragon sent shockwaves through the industry. The economics are equally revolutionary. While a Falcon 9 launch costs around $70 million, SpaceX aims to bring Starship's launch costs down to a mere $10 million. But this is where the story takes an unexpected turn. While SpaceX focuses on Mars colonization and massive payload capacity, Sierra Space sees a different future, one where access to space becomes as routine as commercial air travel. Their partnership with Blue Origin to develop the Orbital Reef Space Station reveals their true ambition, creating a permanent commercial presence in low Earth orbit. Imagine scientists, entrepreneurs, and even tourists traveling to space aboard Dream Chaser, working and living in orbital facilities that rival the complexity of the International Space Station. The challenges facing Sierra Space are significant. Their dependence on ULA's Vulcan Centaur rocket for initial launches has already caused delays, with their first flight pushed back to 2025. But the company's engineers are working around the clock to ensure Dream Chaser will be ready when its time comes. They've already begun testing improved versions of their thermal protection system, and the flight software has undergone thousands of hours of simulation. The future of space travel hangs in the balance. Will SpaceX's massive Starship dominate the industry, making other spacecraft obsolete? Or will Sierra Space's elegant Dream Chaser usher in a new era of routine space access? The answer may lie in how these companies adapt to changing market demands in technological challenges. One thing is certain, the space race of the 2020s is shaping up to be more exciting and consequential than anyone could have predicted. The story of Dream Chaser and Starship isn't just about competition, it's about humanity's growing ambitions in space. Each successful launch, each technological breakthrough, brings us closer to a future where space travel is no longer the exclusive domain of government agencies and billionaires. These spacecraft, different as they may be, represent humanity's best hopes for becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. As we look to the future of space exploration, one thing becomes crystal clear. The competition between SpaceX and Sierra Space isn't just about business. It's about expanding humanity's horizons in fundamentally different ways. While SpaceX's Starship represents raw power and ambitious dreams of Mars colonization, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser offers a more elegant vision of making space accessible to everyone. The real winner in this space race Humanity itself, each company's innovation pushes the other to achieve more, dream bigger, and reach further. Whether it's Dream Chaser gracefully landing at airports worldwide or Starship thundering toward Mars, we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in space exploration. The coming years will reveal which approach resonates more with the market. SpaceX's bold push for Mars or Sierra Space's vision of routine space access. But perhaps the most exciting possibility is that we won't have to choose. Both visions could coexist, complementing each other in ways we're only beginning to imagine. Want to stay updated on the latest developments in space technology in Elon Musk's ventures? Join our growing community of space enthusiasts by subscribing to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you found this video informative and share it with friends who share your passion for space exploration. Drop a comment below with your thoughts. Which approach do you think will shape the future of space travel? Don't forget to ring that notification bell to stay informed about our latest uploads. See you in the next episode, where we'll continue exploring the fascinating world of space innovation. July 21st, 2011 a historic moment that forever changed the landscape of space exploration. As Space Shuttle Atlantis touched down for the final time at Kennedy Space Center, 
It marked the end of an era that had defined American spaceflight for three decades. The space shuttle program had carried our dreams, our astronauts, and our scientific aspirations into orbit. But it also taught us harsh lessons through the tragic losses of Challenger and Columbia. In the wake of the shuttle's retirement, America faced a sobering reality. For the first time since the dawn of human spaceflight, we had no way to send our own astronauts to space. The world's leading space power now relied entirely on Russian Soyuz rockets to reach the International Space Station. This critical gap sparked a revolution in American aerospace as NASA turned to private companies to forge the future of space transportation. Today, that revolution has given rise to an extraordinary new spacecraft, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser. This sleek space plane promises to combine the best features of the space shuttle with cutting edge technology, offering something its competitors can't match, the ability to land on ordinary runways with the gentleness of a commercial airliner. As SpaceX dominates the launch industry with its Dragon capsule, Dream Chaser stands ready to challenge its supremacy. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space exploration and technology. Let's dive right in. In the aftermath of the space shuttle's retirement, American space flight stood at a crossroads. While SpaceX's Dragon capsule has become a familiar sight at the International Space Station, a quieter revolution has been taking shape in the hangars of Sierra Space. The Dream Chaser spacecraft isn't just another vehicle. It's the rebirth of a legacy that began with NASA's early lifting body experiments in the 1960s. Deep within Sierra Space's facilities in Louisville, Colorado, engineers work around the clock on a spacecraft that looks deceptively simple. Its sleek wing design masks years of breakthrough innovations in thermal protection, autonomous systems, and advanced materials. Sarah Martinez, a thermal protection specialist who spent 15 years working on the space shuttle program, sees something special in Dream Chaser. When I first saw the thermal protection system we developed, I knew we'd created something revolutionary, she explains. It's not just about surviving re-entry. It's about doing it with such precision that even the most sensitive experiments remain undisturbed. The stakes couldn't be higher. In 2023, over $2 billion worth of scientific research was conducted on the International Space Station. Much of this research involves crystals grown in microgravity, delicate protein structures, and time-sensitive biological samples that could lead to breakthrough treatments for diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's. But the journey back to Earth has always been a limiting factor. The violent ocean splashdowns of current cargo capsules can disturb or damage these precious materials potentially setting research back by months or even years. Dream Chaser's approach to this challenge showcases the power of learning from past innovations while embracing new technology. Its lifting body design, refined through thousands of hours of wind tunnel testing, allows it to generate lift during re-entry, much like the Space Shuttle did. But unlike its predecessor, Dream Chaser incorporates an advanced autonomous flight control system that makes split-second adjustments during descent ensuring a smoother ride for its precious cargo. The spacecraft's first mission, named Tenacity, will push these capabilities to their limits. During its 45-day maiden voyage, Dream Chaser will demonstrate a series of increasingly complex maneuvers that would have seemed like science fiction just a decade ago. The spacecraft's autonomous docking system, developed in partnership with former space shuttle pilots, represents a fundamental shift in how vehicles approach the International Space Station. Dr. James Chen, lead developer of Dream Chaser's autonomous systems, recalls a pivotal moment during testing. We were running a simulation of an emergency abort scenario, something that had never been fully automated before. The system not only recognized the danger, but executed a perfect retreat maneuver that even our most experienced pilots said they couldn't have done better. That's when we knew we'd crossed a threshold in spacecraft capability. But Dream Chaser's most dramatic innovation comes during its return to Earth. As it descends from orbit, the spacecraft's thermal protection system, composed of over 8,000 individually crafted tiles, maintains a precise temperature balance that protects both the vehicle and its cargo. At an altitude of about 50,000 feet, Dream Chaser begins its transformation from spacecraft to aircraft, executing a series of gentle banking maneuvers that bleed off speed while maintaining stability. 
The contrast with traditional capsule returns is stark. While Dragon capsules descend under parachutes and splash down in the ocean, Dream Chaser approaches the runway at Kennedy Space Center, much like a commercial airliner.